Hi guys, we're back for another installment of the uh, iPad Fundamentals, and uh, I just, I, you know, I think I forgot to say this, but you know, right on the edge of this uh, iPad is a very important button. I think I mentioned in the first show, but I forgot to tell you about it a little bit more. You'll notice that uh, this particular iPad right now is in uh, portrait uh, mode. Now, if I turn it again, you'll notice that nothing happened. Well, wonder why that is. Because, you know, most of the time you see these iPads kind of spinning around. Well, that's because I have the lock on or the location lock on. Now, if I turn this off, then you see what we happened here. When I turn it to the side, oops, it went landscape. And you can, by the way, keep turning this, and it just can, continues to orient itself in a, a very kind of cool way. So, but if you have it in a, la in a particular mode, you're reading a book or watching a movie, and you, and you know you're going to move the iPod, but you, iPad, but you don't want it to go around uh, on there, you want to lock it in position using this particular uh, little uh, switch on the side. Very valuable. You'll use this often. Well, in, um, in the next couple minutes, I just want to talk about email and I want to talk about web browsing. Now, um, it, this is a fundamental use for this, and I heard somebody else say the other day, this is a passive iPad. I wish I could send email. Uh, yes, you can. I mean, it's a fundamental uh, function of the uh, of the iPad. And let me show you a little bit about that. And, and I know Kenneth, our operator here, I want to thank Kenneth uh, Grant for helping me do these shows here. It's been very valuable to get us uh, get this out to you and put it on our on-demand site. Um, down at the bottom, you notice that uh, there is a, and then we've talked about this before, the actual Safari web browser is first, and then there's an email uh, icon. So once you're on a Wi-Fi network, you are connected, then you're going to be able to just simply tap and now go to your favorite website. And um, now, while we're in this particular Safari browser, and, and I might, might say there are other browsers out there that uh, you can use. Uh, you can download those and put them on there. I have one called uh, the perfect browser, which is a very interesting, costs two dollars and ninety nine cents, uh, but it allows you to have tabs and some of the other things in some of the latest browsers. So you might be able to to think about that. But this one comes built in. Now the Safari um, uh, screen is very much like any uh, typical uh, web browser. Uh, it has an, the ability to bookmark and go to. Now this is right up at the top of the screen here. Uh, the ability to go to a number of um, sites and other kinds of things that you would want to go to and you would see that uh, there's plenty of ways to do this so let me uh, let me just say please make use of your web browser um, on the iPad to bookmark just as you would any other uh, using any other browser your favorite bookmark so it's very easy to go through go to when you need it the, the issue is that you have to be connected to the Wi-Fi network and make sure you're there. If you have a home uh, network that's set up, a wireless network, many of us do, when you walk in, it'll automatically read that uh, and, and log you in, and you won't even have to log in to uh, certain networks. Some, some of those Wi-Fi networks will actually pick you up uh, right away. Now, here we have a very secure network. If you get off of the network, you'll have to log back in. There's a process for that. Let me keep, in mind, keep you uh, posted on this, though. There are apps that will automatically log you into Wi-Fi networks by saving your name and password. We'll talk about that on the iP iPad, um, iPad app show coming up soon. Now, let me go back and take a look at email one more time here. Back to our email. Um, you, you notice that uh, this is the way it is uh, set up. Now, this is all my email for today. You'll see that on the um, left-hand side, there is a list uh, and a very short condensed view of all of the emails that have been loaded into my um, email inbox. Uh, and then when you want to see a particular email, it will be uh, loaded uh, if you tap on it and then go back to the inbox and some other things. So you'll have a split view here of all of the listings of your email and then the particular email that you want to go to uh, by simply uh, tapping on that and going to the email. Uh, when you, if you notice at the very top, too, uh, it talks about um, the inbox, and on this it also says uh, mailboxes. So just as with any other, um, excuse me, let me hit that 
a button one more time. It will go to the various uh, mailboxes, both the sent box, um, the trash, the spam box, all of those mailboxes that you might have uh, to help you um, organize and put your emails in the exact place and folder that you want. So very similar to what you have on uh, your desktop computer. So those are just a, that's just a quick overview of the browser and the email function within the iPad. So um, use those and, and those skills that you have with your browser and email are going to transfer very easily into the iPad. Now when we come back in our next show we're going to talk a lot about some of the apps and some of the uh, important apps that you have to have and then some of those that are just too cool not to have. You need to know about them. I'm going to show you those coming up on our next show. Hey, thanks for watching and see us again here in our training series at COEA hp.tv on the iPad. I'm Michael Baltimore and look forward to seeing you next time.